Okay, so now that we know what a straight wire carrying current does, which is it produces a magnetic field, it also produces magnetic force. Okay, so it produces a magnetic force on other current carrying conductors. Okay, so the equation, sorry, the equation is F equals to I L B on other carrying, current carrying conductors. The keyword here is other. So this F should be, okay, so if this guy is wire 1 and my square loop, okay, let's just draw a small square loop here. So this is wire 2. Let's just say, okay, so this is my square loop, this is my wire. So magnetic force on other current carrying conductors, this dude is obviously a current carrying conductor. So this becomes F2 because wire 2, I2 because the current in wire 2, L2 because the length of wire 2, this guy. This guy is not B2, it is B1. Because why? The magnetic force is produced by the B from wire 1 on other current carrying conductors. So the force is actually from B1. Yep, that's your culprit. Okay, so I am back. I've redrawn the question and I've rewritten the equation. We know that F2, I2, L2, B1 by this, by now, we already know that. Okay, so let's find out. We have a square loop. What happens? What is the F net produced by the this magnetic field on this guy? Okay, so... The magnetic field, use your thumb to point into the direction of I. Your B is your fingers, right? So my, from this guy, it goes like that. It goes into the page at this point. This is my B1. And what about this point? It goes into the page at this point. Okay, like that, like that, like that, like that. Okay, I hope you're seeing it. And it's going into the page at this point as well. Duh. And it's going into the page at this point as well. I told you B extends everywhere. So you have to keep that in mind. Okay, so using your right hand rule, can you find out what is the direction of force? Yes, because you already learned this. So remember, your thumb is your force. Your your what what do you call this index finger points towards your eye your middle finger is your b so your b goes into the page right and let's do this one first this guy goes up your eye goes up my b goes into the page my f is this way my f is this way okay what about this guy into the page this way f goes up what about this one? Into the page, I goes down. F is my, oh my god, this is so hard. Uh, I think you can't see, but do it yourself. Okay, this way. So F is this way. Into the page, I is this way, F is this way. Remember, F is F2, I2, L2, mu naught, I1, 2 pi d. This is the magnitude. This gives you the direction. So this is going to the right. Okay, so I've redrawn the diagram. We have discovered that the direction of our forces based on our right hand rule. Okay, so let's say that this is F, uh, W, uh, X, Y, Z. Because we want to find the F net, right? So your F net will be the summation of these um, forces okay because and they have direction so you need to resolve that okay so let's start with the first one fw so fw will be 
using this equation, your FW will be I2, which is the current flowing in wire 2. What is L2? L2 will be the length given, okay, which was this guy. Okay, let's just put it here. So let's put L. And mu naught I1 because this is our source of magnetic field. What about the D? The D is, remember, we have C and we have A across here. So from here to here, it's C. So whatever that value is, put it in. Okay. And I'm going to say to the left is my positive just because. Okay, I can say it's negative, but I would like to say it's positive in this case. So this guy will be positive if it's going to the left, negative if it's going to the right. Okay, what about my fx? My fx will have the same magnitude as fz. Why? Because they have the same d, they have the same l, they have the same i. Which means that they have the same magnitude. However, they have the opposite direction. Which means that my fx will cancel out my fz. Remember, if they have the same magnitude, but they have opposite directions, they will cancel out. So this guy, you don't have to calculate it. Okay? How do you know if they cancel out? They will have the same magnitude. So fx has the same i2 as fz, has the same l2 as fz, has the same d, which is the distance from here to here, okay? And obviously I1 is the same. Okay, so which means that we only have to account for Fy. So Fy is going to the right, which means using my notation, I'm gonna say it's negative. So that will be I2L, because it has the same length u not i 2 pi what about the d the d is c plus a from here to here so that is c plus a whatever that value is for your assignment and can you guess whether it, the f net is going to the left or to the right which one is bigger this guy is bigger because it has a smaller denominator. It's closer and also it's closer. The B is closer to the source. This guy, the B is a further away. So this will become smaller, which means that the F net here is smaller. The F here is bigger, which means that our F net will go to the left. What is the magnitude? Okay, I think you can calculate that for yourself. Okay, all the best. Talk soon.